goss, the dirt, the trash. It's all in Amy's update. Amy and Sean, 1027 VGS. So Bob Barker, uh, I, I thought this was such such a weird headline, but it also like I can kind of relate. Bob Barker watched Two and a Half Men in his final days, like just loved watching it. Um, and most of his state went to 40 nonprofits. Such an awesome activist in so many different things. Mm -hmm. um, but what's what's funny is my grandma, and it's not very morbid, it's just really funny. My grandma was super, super Catholic. Like, if you said, I got to go pee, she would be like, no, 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 no. You have to piddle. Like, she's very, she just was very, 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 very Catholic. And she watched Two and a Half Men um, towards the end of her life. And it was like her favorite show. And it's not a Catholic show at, at all. all. And it's just so funny. I think it's so cute that they found, you know, a bit of happiness and relaxation men, in, men, in Two men, and a Half Men. men, 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 men. Such a good show. That Charlie Sheen seems like such a nice boy. <laughs> right. Yeah, because they didn't see him like after Two and a Half or towards the end of Two and a Half Tiger Men. Tiger blood Char Charlie Sheen. My that God. was an that, era. That was a good Charlie Sheen, though, to be honest. Fun I was times. A, I was definitely a fan. Uh, Nick Carter, man, uh, this is like the third or fourth uh, sexual assault allegation lawsuit on him. Uh, this one, they say, happened in 2003. She was 15. He was 23. Yeah. This is on a yacht. There was the one on the tour bus. There was one somewhere else. He denies all of them. Uh, we'll see where this goes. <sighs> I don't know. It, it was his yacht. Can she name the yacht? I don't know. Because if so, like, you know, all right, where was it docked? Mm -hmm. How would you know that? I, I Listen, this is the third one. It's the same thing with Bill Cosby. It's like, maybe they're not all telling the truth, but like, if there's this much smoke, mm -hmm. there's got to be a little fire, right? That's what I see, too. And this isn't the first time. Like, years ago, he, he was also accused of this. Yeah. But that... I, I don't know. It's it's interesting, but we'll see what happens. One of them, um, the one that came out from the tour bus, yeah, uh, they say that there are witnesses to that one, and that one is definitely going to be thrown out. But the other two, I don't know. And this one, I think her his sister was involved in like getting her. Yes. Uh huh. What is going Man, on? I don't know. I don't know. But let, let's be honest. Like that family was definitely very um, out there. Remember the reality show they had for a minute? Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Jessica Simpson moved her family away from Hollywood to Nashville. I've never been to Nashville. I've always wanted to go. I heard it was so awesome, but there aren't a lot of uh, paparazzi and, and stuff there. I feel like Nashville is kind of like a Vegas for people that they want to be still in a really awesome city yeah. uh, where there's opportunity and stuff, but they don't have to be where all the paparazzi are. This is the answer to every celebrity that wants to get away from it. There's only so many paparazzi, and where are they going to go? Where the celebrities are. Mm -hmm. If you all scatter, <laughs> they don't know where to go. Exactly. They're gone. Yeah. So, yeah, they're in New York, they're in L.A., and then after that, like, maybe you'll get, like, one off here and there, but mm -hmm. you're not going to have a sea of people. Mm -mm. Stop shopping on Rodeo Drive. Yeah. They got malls in Nashville. I know. You'll well, also, Amazon, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> but they say, that, uh, <laughs> they say that she is going to uh, try to reboot her music career, which... I got to be honest, I was a fan of her when she was singing. She was she was it, girl. She legit has a killer yeah. voice. Yeah, she I really think does. underrated, but she's obviously a good businesswoman too because she made all of her money um, with her with her clothing line and shoe line and purse line. I mean, it's the same with Rihanna. It's the biggest enemy to music right now mm -hmm. is uh, merch lines. Yeah, yeah, honest. Put it on the TikTok shop. You'd be set for life. <laughs>